Heading out. I'm all done. Race two just ended. I am leaving, heading back to Canada. Quite the day we had this morning. I was up at uh, 7 o'clock. A shower, a little shave. Uh, slid down to Starbucks and I came into the barn. We went with three sets of babies. All the babies look great. You guys can see them all on Facebook or YouTube. I was very, very happy with all three of them. Um, what else? Then, oh yeah, I drove all the way to the Meadows and drove... Uh, drove I'm a lovely lady pretty good today I did a video earlier she did pretty, she's pretty good so and so still a little pissed off that they put an X in that line that is not a break nor should it have been that was a bad call and it really frustrates me because this filly here is not a filly you want to be heading dragging into the qualifiers I can't qualify her you know I just I, I don't got a good feeling about that whatever it's just uh, unnecessary I guess is the best way to describe it um, drove all the way back here, qualified our boy Blizzard. Two minutes, he was in with Pacers, the track was hard. I could give you a litany of reasons that he was a little flat, but I think maybe I just went too much with him in the schooler last week. Stretched him out a little bit, drew him out a little bit. I think we'll just, um, I think what we'll do with Blizzard is maybe just wait 10 days to race him. Uh, we'll draw his blood, but I suspect I know what his blood's gonna show. A little bit of dehydration, maybe a little bit of elevated muscle count. Uh, work on his feet. You know, that foot's still not perfect. Work on his feet. Uh, left hind ankle bothers him a little bit also. Work on that. Get him squared away and then we'll race him here and or the Meadows, whatever. Um, I mean, for that matter, he could come back to Ontario uh, and race there. We have both him and Sue that fit that number as a two right now. And I believe that Northern Blizzard is not far from trotting in 56, I can tell you that. So I, I think we got Northern Blizzard to a, a manageable position right now. We're trying to improve that to a you know, an opportunistic position, I suppose. And then we race my jazz. My God, this Philly stuff. That, now she got a right front ankle that's bothering her quite a bit. It's not, you know, there's nothing seriously wrong with it. With that, that's one of the least of her worries. We finally got her foot to where they're comfortable, right? We got pads on them, whatever. She was comfortable. Her left hind ankle that I thought was in was in jeopardy of being a real, real problem, a, a, a real um, flashpoint. For a lot of injuries moving forward, what I would call secondary injuries to that left hind ankle, we got that ankle. It looks like it's under control. Not perfect, but what 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 you would say in racehorse sound. You may, can manage it and work her through it, and she's okay. But her problem right now, her right front ankle joint is bothering her a little bit. These are all racehorse things, but not three-year-old racehorse things. These are things that you see from wear and tear on... on um, seasoned veterans. Five, six, seven-year-olds. So... Um, you know, the good news is I think we have her to a place we can manage her. I don't think there's a bad news. I mean, uh, that right front ankle should be manageable. As a horseman, I've seen this type of thing bother horses lots. Actually, you know what? That's not true about those ankles. Um, we had a three-year-old that his ankles bothered him real good, and he came on as a real good four-year-old. Just trying to think of what horse that was. Yes, his right front ankle bothered him when he was a three-year-old. Jason would know. He remembered. He'd remember. We had a horse that had a, an oscillat issue. This may be the start of an oscillate or something like that. Um, right now, it's just reactive. It's bothersome. It bothers her. That's the best way to put it, I guess. It bothers her. Not gonna. It's not killing her. It's not gonna be a a real a real detriment. It bothers her. So we'll keep managing that ankle, uh, the right front ankle. Stay on top of the left hind ankle continue to, to improve her feet and who knows maybe maybe this filly can race right through the winter I don't know I'm, I'm optimistic on what I see right now so not not I wouldn't say uh, a very my jazz like race but at the same time she's never been able to put been put on a schedule seven days seven days seven days seven days wait until we get a few starts into this filly and we'll see what she can do right now we got to work on that right front ankle get it cleaned up keep it real good find a way to keep it real good and then I think as you see her get sounder this will this will be the, the the test you're gonna see it as I talk less and less about that right front ankle I think you're gonna see her get better faster and stronger so that's where we're at right now a pretty good day overall I think we get uh, so and Sue got treated a little unfairly uh, by the judges in Pennsylvania but nevertheless we had uh, a good second with I'm a lovely lady she probably should have won but she raced good uh, a pretty decent third with so and Sue uh, a real good third with, with I don't know, a, a decent third with my jazz. 58 and a piece, 29 on the end of it. Uh, last half, 59. Decent mile. And then a qualifier from Northern Blizzard. Um, as I said, I think just
just need a polish, a little polish on the on the blizzard. What was that? A little polish on the blizzard, and then we'll be uh, we'll be cooking with fire. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, a pretty good day today. Obviously, all eyes again, as I said before, on on three point blue chip tomorrow. Hoping, hoping for a good race from him. And then it's uh, for the most part Rose Run. Why not tomorrow? And then. Um, off to Harrisburg. So we'll talk to you all soon. I hope you had a great day. I hope you had a great night. Four and a half hours from now, I'll be laying in my bed in Guelph, Ontario. Take care.